bridge all over Atlas Base. Your stories aren't usually such downers. Get cancer. Welcome back. You are Templar Tacoma. Continuing our investigation on what happened to the crew of the Tacoma. What happened in the showers? <laughs> Cover AR data. They watch you in the showers too, and they play the musics. Oh. Cover this data. It's Nat. It's the Nat attack. What up, failed? No, that's what the human oversight accord means. If an orbital facility is running by AI, HOA requires there to be an AI specialist on board. And if there's one human on board, there need to be at least two other people for up to a three month hitch. Ah, the coveted net support rules. I knew it. And for posting, uh, and postings of a year are more, you need six. Etc. Sanity, wellness, admin, you name it. Also, it guarantees a whole lot of people union jobs you wouldn't otherwise have. What if told you I'd feel a lot more sane with a couple fewer people around? You and me both, kid. Marcus, Wizard Marcus, and Vinny Johnny. One vein. Look, but. Look, but don't touch. She was a K-pop fan, I'm assuming. Or is this a weird TV show? And failed. Okay. Not learned a lot from that. Oh. They left their precious shampoos in here. I felt the need to fix it. Oh, well, I better make it realistic. Me for you. It's just her listening to her music while showering. Also, weird how she chose to face outward towards the big empty space and not towards the water. Nothing super useful there. Actually, hold on, the game's a little quiet for me. Turn it up for myself, if y'all don't mind. The fitness center. What happened in here, huh? Oh man, my girl's strong. Nine kilograms and I can just... What? Oh, they were in here, that's right. Hey, what's this? Non crew member profile detected. It's not allowed? I already looked at all of this. Yeah. Actually gives access to all of hers. None of them were corrupted. Well, the texts were corrupted. And this guy's? Yeah, we did this one. What's this? Can I use bike? Is the bike open to the public? Personal quarters. Did I finish this? I don't think I did. Got that? I don't think we ever went in here. Yeah.
No, Germ, look, I just... I don't know... I don't know why. Uh, I mean, you... Quietly. He's talking to Germain. It's true. Here's why I'll be out for touch uh, for the next eight months or so. Final for Cruise Line launches far reaches expanding tour past Jupiter. Hey. In a historic first for orbit vacation travel, Final for Cruise Line's resplendence. A long habitation vessel, the voyage of the Hibihu, Germain Burgess and Resplendence. Chief Cruise Officer. Helmed. CCO. Let's see. Entirely past Jupiter, give lucky passengers uh, an extended view of the spectacular gas giant, as many moons, and the famous giant red spot before continuing the course back towards Earth. The full duration of the curse is nearly eight full calendar months, during which time. Oh, could you imagine it only taking eight months to get to Jupiter? That's the kind of engines I want. Actually, it's full eight months, so it'd be only four months to get to Jupiter, four months to get back. That's crazy. That is a long, super long cruise where you're going to see Jupiter, so I guess it's worth it. Sounds nice, but wouldn't that be a lot of work? None the least, my dear. All good uh, Britons are trained in presenting proper high tea. And in bullshitting, <laughs> they have AR tutorials for everything these days. He had some fancy liquors. No coaster, though. Hmm. What could I expect from a pilot guy? What is this? London. A tea set. Oh, this tea set that's in the other chick's room. He gave it to her. Ordered it. Beaky. What? Rosencrantz and Wolfenstein are dead. Oh, it's a movie. I was going to say, who would have grabbed a poster? Two dudes dying. Well, yeah, I already saw this. The key. The secrets. The cat food. Also, wait, they only have one cat. I guess the cat just stayed in both their rooms, huh? Yeah. Hasn't been opened yet, though. Can I has it? Old-timey photography of London and assuming more London he is a Brit his bathroom doesn't have any clues in it does it I think I checked this last time I was like secret code in the back of the door no what is this pomade Sovereign hand. That's a work? What is this? It's a kind of soap. Hand soap. Interesting choice to make a donut shape. Hand wipes. Bottle. What? Moisturizing lotion. You right, know, what was he talking I've always about? been. It's never real in my mind <laughs> why would she give a damn about me of all the people shit oh bollocks no I'm just <laughs> I'm spilling scotch all over out of space <laughs> why is he listening to fallout music I suppose after you play fallout you, you, you do get a couple of favorites from Russia with love Miley versus Carla. The amount of detail they put into this, I really do admire. Diamonds are forever. The Saint and a couple of Skyrim books. Three of the sea battles of history. Brotherhood. Am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something.
Yeah, I started off with them. I didn't start off with maintenance back here. I don't know what their conversation was. And I believe I already listened to their conversation up there. Hmm. Real fast, though. She opens up her AR, and I want to just grab this real quick. Air filtration valve, parts, heat compressor, general fuel tank, hoop tank, enthusiast, rail. Yearly inventory quality assurance and count day already on it, trying to get it all done before Oboso day tomorrow uh, so I can party with a clear conscience. Understand that tomorrow's celebration will require your full attention. Do you think Eve will mind if. Uh, huh? <laughs> no problem. Two heads are better than one. Maybe, oh my god, Pokey's pro. You connect you with licensed therapists on demand. We're here to listen. You need the most of it. Personalized therapy with licensed practitioners. Maybe, and I'm trying to focus on the bright side of Nat with Nat. At least it pay, pays well. The isolation pay. But I feel like I'm holding her back. I wonder if that's actual corruption or redaction. What do you think? I feel like I'm holding her back. She's up to a here on this shit posting because it is all I qualify for and I could be somewhere so much better. Okay, I have to go do this yearly task thing now. Thanks for your time. Thank you for using for it. Bye, Roberta. Roberta. And then this penny person was just listening the whole time. Alright. Ryan? What are they talking Hi, about? Ladies. You have everything you need? Yep, bo. Yep, bo. Thanks for offering to help. Oh, yeah, no problem. I mean, you know how much I love. Busy work? Oops, I paused it. Shit, don't start. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. Okay, so if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then? So we'll get renewed again next year. I was trying to grab next the rice and I couldn't do it. Nah. I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Huh? Do you really need direct access to Otis? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, Hey Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well, I'd still be pulling a paycheck for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was going to talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but it never went anywhere. The AIs are made of people. That's why they don't want people to know. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On our way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. No, it won't. Matt! I think the corporation killed Hey, them. remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh my god. Matt, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's I've in heard all this part our before. paperwork. So if you want to quit, then... Just quit, but don't During make me the entire conversation. I mean, sense. it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clyde. Then again, rules are rules. Nat, <laughs> I'll think about it. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain. Where they receive deliveries. Hmm. I haven't been in laundry yet. Oh, let me remind myself about this conversation up here. I think I listened to it already, but I can't remember. Maybe not. I'll remember this guy standing here with his hands up. Nicholas, I know that you. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, he opened it up a second time. That's right. He's just talking to Nicholas right now. Remember Both that you is. and your father would like me home sooner. Listen. Oh, that's the moon. You have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? I thought it was okay. Earth. 
And there's no way we're gonna have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just gonna have to pay some of that tuition out of pocket. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. What? Get what? The spoons? No, that's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well... Yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... Aren't we're not all gonna get cancer or bone yeah, disease or... Okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with would it make your you potential departure. Wait. Okay, you hold mean on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I uh, bother you for a second? What? Well, Sarah was talking to oh, someone else. Um, sorry. What is it? I have my son Nicholas on AR, and he wanted to ask you. What? No, you said you wanted. Well, I didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. Now, Nicholas. Nicholas. Hello. Teens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. <laughs> Okay. This, this, juice. Simple directions. She was having her own conversation with someone else. What was it, though? Through this, I learned that people do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality, accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Man, your stories aren't usually such downers. Your stories... Man, your stories aren't usually such downers. We're not all gonna get cancer or... Is everything okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with your potential departure. Wait. Okay, you mean on. me? <clears throat> or Hey Sarah, can I uh... She was talking to Odin about once again AI relationships with people. The cat was here. What did the cat do? Coming out of orbit, da da da, Sergio Venturi. Let make Sergio Tech. Bunch of Hoopa Stank enthusiasts. Nonsense, I am sure. Orbital certification in six months. The University of Orbital Technicians. Venturi's University. Why is this soap so floppy? Hmm. Powder deterrent engine. Cherry scented? That sounds crazy. I would like that. I make me hungry all the time. What's that? One of those collectible coins from Singapore. I like that. I like that sound design. You get that nice little clink. Alright, let's see what the cat did. Look, is there a jump function? No, there's not. Anyway. What was that? Okay. That slept here the whole time. Did not do anything weird like I thought it would. 
Tacoma batteries. Party supplies exploded. Hmm. Didn't find out any of the more locker codes. There's the exit. Locker room, we've been to the showers, it wraps around. We've been to laundry now. We'll leave it open for now. Oh, it self closes. That's weird. Okay, so we're learning a little bit more about the crew here. Open this up again. What's his office? Hmm. I already looked at everything here. Okay. Pretty much done with this area then. So it was a little clue in their cubby holes for mail. What's this? Lost running running. Gold band graded with RWNK inside. I think I lost somewhere in engineering. Please let me know if you find it, Bert. Bert lost a wedding ring? I wonder if there's an achievement for finding it. One thing that sucks about this is... Okay, I got this. First part of the AI net is fully transferred. Our techs are here are looking at it remotely. Oh. Let's see. Subcontractor Feria, please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process as per your contact time is of the essence with respect to this mission. Okay. So now we're going to what? Bioengineering. Yes, I remember. I was paying attention. Um, okay, I have to touch this for some reason. Now everyone be warned. This station is big. Oh, 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 oh. The perfect family getaway. They say, is it though, really? I suspect foul play from this venture capital. There's this capture. Where they go in here. I already saw that though. Alright, biomedical is right here. I think, I think last time, last episode, I said, oh, look, it's Earth. No, that's actually the moon. Yeah, I confused it for Earth. It means Earth must be on the other side. Biomedical. Let me in. Not gonna lie, it's kind of making me want to play through Prey again. Only about the way they uh, did the graphics and the music and the lighting. Yeah, my theory is they got killed by the corporation. Either that or Odin went, went through rampancy, because this is crazy. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. They didn't explain how the hand washing stations work. Also in the bathroom, where are the three seashells? Got your Farah AI data here. Okay. Got you another transfer. Shove it in.
Done message. Your Adam Odin fact for you while you wait. Work. Odin was the very first AI to be branched from the original source over a hundred years ago. He is an old guy. That's a good thing, right? This is H, by the way. I hope you can find this and read this. Okay, your real handle there is back from the bathroom. Now bye. What? Uh, bye. <laughs> Where's my real handler? Who's H? Why don't I trust him? Botany? Medical. I guess we'll do medical first. I feel like I went left last time. Recoverable crew data? Nice. Random hand signal. Jutsu activate. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Once more. Wait. <laughs> Isn't having more data available to a, the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data formatted for the Zenth's uh, AI, or Zenith's AI use, not blank. Bert's going to need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls, so. Okay, hibbity skibbity. Navigation code itself interpret the data and displayed its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. <laughs> Expose the raw data for cross reference if needed, yes. I understand. I will prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation control software. And... Mm, Alright. Whatever that means. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it, Uhura. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station at it. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know, Uhura, I'm not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Matt. I appreciate it. I need to blank. See you on the other side. This user is offline. Mm. Broken. Broken. Mm. And you did nothing to stop it. That was good. Going to the bridge. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they looked so worried. Oh, baby. Is the clock is ticking. And I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other, it's the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. Maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned. Because thinking about them isn't going to help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And... When I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> they broke the supply closet. I'm not sure I can trust them anymore. Have you scheduled your quarterly medical bioscan? Your health won't wait. <laughs> Minimum of three hours of exercise per week is encouraged. 
Let's go into the personal lives, shall we? Oh, doctor. I'm making a house call. I'm gonna be weird and creepy about it. Wrong button. What are you looking at while you're listening to your weird, <laughs> weird, um, uh, contemporary music that sounds like it belongs in a commercial for antidepressants? It's really my last time on Terra Firma for a while. Love you, Charlie. Who, who calls it that? You have to be a weird space person. You would always call it Earth. Singapore, home of the ultimate hangover food. Whatever that is. I'd try it. Looks crispy. Space. The earth from this height. No feed. Unfortunately, the information you have requested is defined as classified by Ventura, so I am unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, Sarah. It's okay. You don't have to apologize to know you have your rules. You have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get it. At it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about the issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. Ooh. And then they'll murder you in space. Try to take my first trip, uh, Egg and Day Odyssey to the stars. So it is some sort of egg dish. Elevator Space Paradise, the glitz, the glamour, the zero G, it's going to be incredible. All thanks to you, my loyal support. But first, I spend a day in the hustle and bustle of Spaceport City. Ah. Why does this picture look like the exact same picture? JJ Pratt. Oh, it's her friend, I guess. Kea Toast. Kea Best Hopi House. Kopi House. While Toast makes the center stage a classic importing street food's name, the real star of the show is a pair of uh, perfectly runny half-boiled eggs drizzled with fur slather and more good egg then dip liberally in the soft, which I'm assuming is butter. Or, yeah, seasoned butter with soy sauce? What is that? I'm curious. I want to know. Tell me. No. On another facility. Uh? <laughs> She's actually saying uh. Like if she was malfunctioning, or if there had been anything wrong with her that might not that might not have known about. I tried looking at VT's tech error ticket. Backlog for any hits. Okay, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Oh, so she did ask him to research an old AI. Which said here listening to space music. Her avatar's a little corrupt right here. Post-workout. She works out over there and she works out in here. That's a crazy pose. Would she do all these? Impressive. Huh? All right, what we got here? Dumb lid. Shed a flashlight. What are those? Those chocolates? Nailed it. Blue green, remember. Hmm, it's a nice dark blue green. Will it tell me what it was? Let's see. Comedine Kira. I'm assuming they're candies of some kind. A card with love. Dear Sarah, we are thinking of you during the Ramadan, and I hope you are celebrating in your own way up there. 
as well. May these help you break your fast. We look forward to your visit, your next visit. Please give yourself permission to relax every once in a while during your post. We love you, Mom and Dad. Oh. They sent her the chocolates. That sent her the... She really display that card for a little while, but I'll put it back where she... Wait, what flavor of gum did she chew? It's important. More coconut lemon. Everyone was about that coconut lemon gum. I wonder if coconut lemon gum is awesome. I just never knew. What is this? The Book of Change. I Ching. Many subtle forces swirl around us in our daily lives to help us with the itch I Ching. They can be understanding and even turned into our advantage. The more you learn about the Oracle and more intriguing the system of understanding, it's some spiritual stuff here. Okay. Learn the wisdom of the Ching. New translation is fresh while retaining the weight and authority of the original text. Your commentary gives invaluable insight. Another one of those expensive looking pens. So they all go to Singapore for vacations, I'm assuming. So a lot of them have Singapore money. Pisu, deep waters in the heavens, under clouds approaching from the west, but no rain yet. The superior person nourishes himself and remains of good cheer to condition himself for the moment of truth. Great success is your sincerely, if you sincerely, keep to your course. You may cross to the far shore. Changing line one, hex 48, the well. Got a card here, huh? Hi, Sarah. So glad somebody wanted one of those beautiful orchids. Remember, not too much water. And just ask if you need guidance on upkeep. Plant care tips, I'm here to help. Like, how often to water it, man? You say not too much water. Wind is too much water. Uh, 120 of Singaporean independence. Ten dollar. Ten Singapore dollars. This Sarat Labrak the Heifer. In the name of God, the glorious, merciful. Oh. This is a pretty little plaque. Have those who are blessed, not against. So she has some religion in her, huh? Interesting. He gets to get some sleep. His eye is kind of bright. A book. Put the music on. I would not like a quiet spaceship that just sounded like all spaceship noises. Mindful life on autobiography. Autobiography. AI in charge of all operations for every sea, city, state found has lived for a long and storied pain span. Here she shares some of her techniques for graceful navigating sentience and the demands of living, satisfying life. A book written by an AI. That's crazy to think that that might be something that we might see in the near future. Bond has been in operation for 62 continuous years, 34 of them for Kirby Sea City State. Bond invented the celebration sea farming techniques that bear her name, placing her at the visionary forefront of the state of the art. Uh, she is also known for her strong belief in meditation, which many experts thought meaningless or impossible for AI. Bond has been an anointed dame controller of Karabas, but she has elected to exclude this title from her name. And there was no, like, secret bookmark. No? Okay. Flush that. Flush. Flush. I'm gonna flush it. Sanitize button. Can't use the flush button. Her makeup's different. Volume lash. Nice. 
line virtuoso. I'm just touching everything. More moisturizer. Glass. Sky spare. I was working for your best day health. Do not crush your true tablet. See package insert for additional warnings and information. On some sort of work drug. Fortunately, we just learned about more of our personal stuff rather than anything useful. No codes. No. Did we go into the drawer? I guess that coin's just gone. Went into the ether. <laughs> Man, you move really slow when you're crouched. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we would learn something going to her personal quarters. But well, then she's up. Uh, not only into physical fitness, she's also into a lot of religion stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Before we listen to the. Wow, leave that on. How many options we got, though? Ocean. Summer showers. Well, actually, you know, we gotta do summer showers, bro. The same ad on every computer workstation. What's her? She looks nice. The CNAAP. Knapp place. A, the Knapp. What, what's the full name of that place? Hold on. Uh, Confederacy of North American Argy. Ar Argy. Uh, Agiri Power Producers? That's crazy. Thank you for updating your crew AR BioScan record access code. Please enter the code to remember phrase for your future references from my favorite graduation. When she graduated. Mind that while you're posting a contract with Lunar Transfer Station, renewal of any more uh, open prom, uh, uh, options open to you. If you accept personal responsibility for the incident on September, September, September 2nd, 2085, upon the found, Fountain of Paradise, as you know, the court case has been settled, so there will be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities within Ventures will be significantly improved. I'll take the renewal, thanks. So her graduation day, 2080, might be the code she likes to use a lot for her stuff. Oh, sorry. Do I need to go? That's all that information. Still, try to remember 2080, because I think we need to make a trip back to the other place and open up our locker. Give us some useful information there. There's Earth! I was looking for you. Yeah, you big blue marble. Okay, where's where's the doctor? She was just walking out. Or walking, yeah. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Oh, she opened up hers immediately right after as well. To everyone left awake on Tacoma, I've added a tracking widget on all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. All the algae bloom and Eevee and Clive going into cryo. The counter should give you plenty, uh, give you a pretty good hurra. Keep an eye on it and hurra. Mm. Hey, ladies, your scans look good. You're cleared for cryo. 
If God forbid, blah, 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 into the pods, attach some standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clyde. For cryogenic sleep, a patient's guide. Oh, it's game determine the primary regimen of fluids and estimated to intravenous. The sludge and durates of laxatives and given time for your body to react to them before. Oh god, you gotta empty out, huh? And all staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facility locations are in the microgravity medical staff, you'll have special training to adminuvia. Mm -hmm. Alright. Two out of six cryopods filled. Okay, 50 hours left. Failure and fail. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? What her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing... Wait, so there's sh she's saying that's going to be difficult for Nat to survive the cryogenic thing for some reason. Medical staff only. Let's find out. The Thickness Roberta Williams. Let's see. Kinetic filtering signatures, standard, enemy activity scheduled AC, the, 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 the resistance, menstrual suppression, blood type tailoring, global, okay. Hygienic stasis risk factors, none. Cranial stasis viability in ass patients is if there's no physical symptoms that would lead to injury or death following cryogenic stasis or revival. Physicians should proceed with cryogenic procedures as appropriate. Okay, so what's the problem with her? Nat attack. Uh oh. A heart murmur. Man. Look at that. Look at that difference in size. 91 kilograms to 45. She's dating a lady who's literally twice her size. Interesting. Probable mitral stenosis. Raging stasis survival. Now, this patient exhibits clear signs of cardiovascular abnormality, heart murmur. This condition presents severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process. Expected probability of survival for the patient under this treatment is 18%. Patient is not recommended for cryogenic stasis. Physicians should consider alternate methods of treatment for this patient. Now, how, how do you like this measuring system? It's supposed to be a professional medical machine. That good, happy, sad. All right, I see the old man. I see the father. The botanist. Ah, genetic filter standard, standard and genetic schedule, let's see. None, okay. Patients have no physical symptoms, okay. There's a chance she'll die, not 100%. Whoa! Who's Bonesy? And also, what's that sound? Alright, let's listen to the rest of this conversation. That's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh, uh, send him in. So you showed up for your exam. Actually, hold on. Does he say anything before he comes in? His thing is open, though. Boss man, what's the deal? Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but her exit on the station, and if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together. But, don't forget me. I know that I loved you more than I, and I'm sorry, Odin. I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Why do you dictate? Okay. Should have deleted that part. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system on board controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station. 
and hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot for six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back at it. Sorry, thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Okay. I'd rather not be writing this, Clive, and I heard not why I wish weren't signing these words. It's because above all, I believe in this crew and I wish I could do their uh, to see you succeed in this. Could be there, sorry. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We all breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel Earth's pool again, together. For now, Clive and I will do our part to settle into cryo. Soon Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat. We're all counting on you. Nat, him, we're all up. Couldn't be in better hands. With love and gratitude, Evie, St. James, and Clive, Steve. Hmm. Andrew, crew information request. As you frequently ask questions for a contract handbook. Transports or remains funeral arrangements are paid for by Venturis. Crew loyalty and any additional Venturis accident insurance that the contractor has invested in our immediate, immediate transfer to the contractor's specified beneficiary. Compound loyalty continues to accrue contract term. Okay, that's nice. Uh, stay safe up there, and her, her, it is everyone's job to keep contractors and employees safe. So he was prepared to die, and he, he's preparing to not make it. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. It smells. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Could we turn uh, to spaghetti? Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Oh. You can only stay for cry and cry for so long, Do you think huh? Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. <laughs> they heard them doing it in the closet. They can move their picture frames. Alright. Let's not forget 2080. 2080, 2080. There's that. Hold on. Imaging. Uh, Chrome, we can't do the but please move the items pockets. Okay, so there's a bioscan room. I think you can start furniture in here. The cat was in the bioscan room. With a little mousy. <laughs> What'd the cat do? Nothing. Something tells me the cat saves everyone. Remove all metallic objects and then lay in here, down here. What if the cat underneath the scanner gave him the wrong bioscan readings for the for the cryogen thing? What if they were okay the whole time? Okay. I need to find a key. Oh, is there a key anywhere? I don't remember there being a key. You guys remember there being a key somewhere? Logically speaking, if you had a key, you'd probably keep it up here.
ground. Maybe there's a hook on the wall? Maybe? Maybe, baby? Shoot. Interesting if true. It's gotta be in here. Right? There it is. More of that gum. It's like sea salt ice cream. More of that nail polish. Actually, no, this is a different color. This is deep slate. No, deepness in the sky. Ooh, I like that. Hold on. Let's read this. February 20th. Honestly, most of the pain has faded, but I can't say that I don't still feel guilty. It's just duller than it used to be. And it's still there all the time. Odin says this counts as grief, even though I never knew the patient when he was alive. I don't know how doctors deal with this. A lot of them have to, don't they? Most of them. Mostly. <clears throat> Hold on. I'll leave the rain sounds on. Yeah, we're already in our personal quarters. This is the last place. Last piece of the puzzle. Medicine. The good drugs for the nose. This. Ventura settles with the family of spaceport victim. Following the lengthy independent investigation of the court case of the Ventura's Corporation, has reached a settlement with the family of Jaden Jeremiah Pratt, who died during surgery for a fractured femur following an accident aboard Ventura's Foundations of Paradise Spaceport on September 2nd, 2085. The value of the settlement was undisclosed as part of the settlement's terms. Ventura submits no wrongdoing on the death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public relations damage has already been done by the incident. While OPEC's uh, independent investigations was inconclusive, the attending surgeon at the time of Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah Hasmidi, testified during multiple hearings that fault lay not in the human error, but in the faulty judgment of Venturist Medical AI, ECA. Following these claims and the lack of refer refutation, I think is the word, by OCAP's investigation, investors' confidence in the reliability of Venturist AI's offerings declined sharply and hasn't fully recovered since. Dr. Hasmidi has transferred off the foundation of Paradise Spaceport shortly after the hearings began. Miss Pratt was a popular travel and food writer, bringing his death and the subsequent hearings surrounding it added attention from the public. Both the Venturist Corporation and Mr. Pratt's family have declined to commit for comment for this story. a little note card copy of the newspaper clipping. The skull. Wait. Is this part of a puzzle? What's this bucket for? Just curious. <laughs> Put the skull back. You think that would have been an achievement? Make the make the skelly bone man feel complete. Hold on, is there a seek in the back of this door? No. Can I give him a keys? The doctor is out. Alright, well. Fortunately, that took a lot more time than I thought. I'm gonna have to go a little bit longer this time. No, no, no. There's nothing else in the personal court. We hit that pretty hard. Do 
50%. Literally. It's timed out perfectly, apparently. Let me just see a little bit of this over here. See what we're getting into over here. It's flying botanist office. Protein growth. They're growing meat. Chicken goo. Very good amount left. Fish goo is really low for some reason. Beef goo is surprisingly... Oh, they got a lot. They got two beef ones. And also... For the amount they've already used... I'm surprised it went through the fish more than the chicken. Shrooms! Big delicious shrooms. We got here. These mini watermelons? What is this? Never seen those before. Some, some type of zucchini I've never seen. What is this? Kale? That's not kale. It's too circular in shape. It doesn't look like a bunch of jibbity jabbity jew. This just looks like. Oh, yeah, those are the weird watermelon pickles. <gasps> Another snack cup that looks delicious. Vegetarian Max. And he's got the chopsticks, too. What's this? What's a bag of fertilizer? Mm hmm. Pencil tin. Artistic pencils? Oh, God, it flops open. You gotta, like, do the set of seven artist drawing pencils. That's kind of cool. Let me put that in. I'm gonna read a little bit. Oh, is this, okay, those old chopsticks. Insurance technology policy change request form, specific request for reasoning. Clean calendar office. I request that office appropriate day of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year, memorializing the Tibetan genocide of 2052. My family and thousands of others were unable to sunder in the horrific <laughs> ethnic cleansing attempt. My parents and I escaped. Wow, Tibet as refugees. Not so was not so lucky. Her memory spares me. Uh, to make this request once more, days of a memorial like this one are crucial to ensuring that the memory of people and traditions lost in this terrible event. Okay. A genocide happened where he lost his mom. That's depressing, but okay. <laughs> one of the orbs is missing. You shouldn't use seer stones. You never know who might be watching. Zero two eight one. We got twenty eighty and zero two eight one. He just writes it down and puts it right there. He doesn't care. A botanist boy. What it do, dude? Beautiful orchids. My orchids have been growing gorgeously in botany this winter. They're ready to be propagated. If anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, let me know. They do take a bit of care, but I'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions. We usually have back if you want this one. Be a contractor in good standing, uh, Dagya. This message confirms completing of your request currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account at the value of $154,000 SGD and applied to the Ventures Belt Employee Investment Plan pre-registration fee. You are now the proud owner of Orbital Bungalow and the Ventures Belt. Facilities become operational later in 2008. You will make money every time a passenger rents out your orbital bungalow. Congratulations on the wise investment, and welcome to the Venturis family. Oh, he invested in real estate. Interesting choice. Let's check out one of these. Can I eat some? Can I just grab some? I wonder if you stay on the station for a while, if they slowly refill over time. Irrigation, where the wetness happens. Uh, uh, right? No. I'm trying to remember 2080 for the lockers, and I wonder if he uses the same code for his locker. Zero two eight one. I think I put zero two eighteen, didn't I? I wish these doors would stay open a little bit longer. I also wish there was a sprint feature.
here we are. Irrigation. When you control the water, you control information. What is this? He was smoking. Kerworth. Smokeless cigarettes. How is that even possible? Stone shaping fundamentals for health. Meditation. Glasses available. Oh, so he carved the stone himself. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's not fully formed. Oh, so he would smoke and he would whittle his stone. And he's right next to the fire extinguisher, so he's all good. Oxygen supply. <laughs> Two days ago, yesterday, today. Oh, okay. So I literally got here like a day after they probably all went into cryo and or tried to escape. We weren't gone long. You know what? I don't know why. I'm gonna put this stone in his office. Complete the set. Also, I don't know why it's bigger. Yeah, it's not fully shaped. It's gonna be smaller for certain because of uh, the oblongness of it all. Once he was done smoothing it out. Why did he get the higher pedestal? The other two. I wonder. Anywho. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off. I know I said I'd do a little bit extra and I did. Actually, you know what? No. Not yet. <sighs> Let's run back to that locker room. I need to open it. I need to find out what's inside. 2080. <laughs> Screw you. Screw you, AI thing. I want to know. I want to know just so I don't have to do it next time. All right, okay, I can't. I can't. We have to end it here. Okay, our process is in progress. Oh. Boo. I'm going to have to start using a notepad for all these codes. Anyhow. Thank you all. You all, Templar. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. We'll see you in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. Mad attack. Uh oh. A heart murmur. Man. Look at that. Look at that difference in size. 91 kilograms to 45. She's dating a lady who's literally twice her size. Interesting.